This tutorial video will demonstrate differential tractography. For pre-processing steps such as downloading files from XNet, correcting the eddy current and susceptibility artifacts, and reconstruction, please refer to the pre-processing video. The first part of this tutorial will compare one subject's data with a group average template. The subject's FIB file will be generated from the pre-processing steps, and you can download the templates from the DSI Studio website under the data page. The link is provided under this video. The most commonly used template is the FA or NQA template. NQA is also known as the normalized QA. The analysis is not limited to FA or NQA, and you can use any imaging metrics for differential tractography. Now open the subject's FIB file at step T3 fiber tracking. To check the data quality, first, restore all settings using the options menu to make sure the default settings are used. Then click on the fiber tracking button to examine the whole brain tractography results. If the tracking results contain many noisy fibers or artifacts, there could be data quality issues, and you may need to check out the data troubleshooting video about how to identify and fix them. After confirming the data quality, we will import the NQA template using the slice menu on the top. The template will have a different geometry from the subject and thus it must be imported using the insert MNI function. This step tells DSI Studio that it is an MNI image and needs nonlinear registration to align with the subject image. The added template can be viewed under the slice drop list on the top of the 3D window. The base name of the template file, which is template underscore NQA will appear at the bottom of the list. Next, we will compute the differences between subjects NQA and template NQA as a new tracking metrics. Click on the analysis menu and select the add tracking metrics function. Type in template underscore NQA minus NQA. This will calculate the decrease of NQA for this subject. Make sure the name entered matches those in the drop list. If you want to study the increases, type in the opposite, which is NQA minus template underscore NQA. Then, on the right upper corner, we can select this metric under the differential tracking of the tracking parameter section. The threshold decides the percentage differences to track. Here the 0.2 threshold will track pathways with more than 20% differences. Now clear all whole brain tracks from the list. Click on fiber tracking to get the differential tractography. We can adjust the minimum length to remove noisy results and increase specificity. A larger value will give more specific results but may lose some sensitivity. The best choice depends on data quality and the disease model. You may repeat the process with different percentages to evaluate the magnitudes of neuronal changes. The results can be compared with the control subjects. The optimal setting should give findings to patients but not the controls. The second part of this tutorial will compare one subject's data with his or her follow-up scans. First, we will need two FIB files from the same subject. One is from the baseline scan, and another from the follow-up. The NQA map of the follow-up scans can be exported from the FIB file. Open it in step T3 and use the export menu to save NQA as a nifty file. Make sure to save it in a different file name to avoid confusion with the baseline scan. Then, open the baseline FIB file and insert the NQA from the follow-up scan using the slices menu. Note here we will use the insert other images function, not the insert MNI function, because the NQA is from the same subject, not the template. We should see the follow-up NQA listed on the slice list. Add a new metric using the analysis menu and type in NQA minus follow-up underscore NQA. This will track the decrease of NQA. Again make sure the name of the metrics matches those listed in the slice list. The newly added metrics can be selected in the tracking options at the right upper corner. We can adjust the threshold to decide the percentage threshold for differential tracking. 0.2 means 20% differences. The minimum length will remove fragment results and improve specificity. A larger seed count will give better track coverage. Click on the fiber tracking button to generate differential tractography. Differential tractography can also combine with region settings to exclude certain regions from the study. For example, we can add a region of avoidance using the Atlas menu to exclude regions that have many artifacts. The region will remove irrelevant results and improve the specificity of the findings. This concludes the tutorial for differential tractography and thank you for watching.